Okay, we're somewhere around Calumet, Illinois, traveling on this Interstate 94 towards Chicago. Nothing much going on, just want to show you this heavy traffic that's moving quite well. I wonder how long it will take us to get through Chicago. You guys better hold on to your shorts because this is going to be one long video, I tell you. Very long. Very, 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 very long. But then again, you've already seen this timestamp on the video, so... This amount of traffic can't be good. I don't see anything good coming out of, coming out of this heavy traffic. Mr. Cricket, thanks for keeping me company. Just giving you a fair warning though, today is your last day, because my wife is going to search and destroy you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really excited that my wife is not working tomorrow. Just for the sole purpose of uh, finding that cricket. <laughs> I'll make sure she'll bring a hammer and a chisel. Hold on hand. Phone in one hand, ticket on the other. Good grief.
Yeah, forgot to tell you guys. Hey, Barb. Tampers almost got murdered yesterday in the hands of my wife. Remember that digging he's been doing at the backyard last fall? I think he was trying to go to China or something. Hey, he's back at it again. Ran to the house, jumped up in the bed, Oh boy. I can't imagine no more tampers. I have never been so so attached to an animal before. You know, growing up I had you know, we had a family pet named Steve and Lisa. They were both German Shepherds. Unfortunately, Lisa, she didn't survive that long. She got ran over. But Steve, however, Oh, Steve lived for, I bet you, he lived for about 15 years. It was a, it was a pretty sad story, actually. When my mom and dad bought the, the two German Shepherds, Everything was hunky-dory. The family was doing good. Everything was prospering. But um, soon after that, then my dad and my mom started getting into a fight. And, well, to make the story short, they ended up divorced. My dad left. And, uh, yeah, that's what, that was the time that I left the island uh, also to come over here and I migrated here and went to the seventh and eighth grade and a little bit of ninth grade. And when I came home, Steve was the only one left and basically when my dad left, my mom had no income whatsoever, and she had barely uh, she had barely enough to survive on her own, let alone maintain a dog. So Steve was kind of let him, you know, he was let alone to fend for himself most of the time. He was, he, he was the biggest dog that the whole island has ever seen. I mean, he had a bark like, jeez, and everybody knew him. Everybody was afraid of him. Except, of course, the neighbors. And so he went around the villages and begged for food. He went hunt for himself. He's never seen a vet you know, after we bought him. And yet he lived for 15 years. I mean, it was just amazing. And people from around the island that would literally bring their own female dog to uh, to breed with uh, the dog with Steve, and whatever profit that came out of that, 
Glendale. My mom survived on that one too, and I guess some part of it went to Steve. But I'll never forget the day that uh, I came to the island one day on a kind of a short trip. And he was just there laying down. He was full of fleas. And, and he was just really... So I kind of took care of him a little bit. Give him a... I even bought a you know, dog shampoo to take care of all the fleas. And he was just covered by it. I gave him a bath and I don't know. He died right after a couple hours. You know what? This video is getting long. I'll be right back. Peace.